And I want to start by sort of motivating this with some quote unquote foundational questions. And I have this, you know, beautiful Venn diagram with everything on it, which the point really here is that we need to be not just interdisciplinary, but sort of poly epistemological, meaning that literally one way of thinking about what we know is insufficient to totally understand these new things. And so I'm going to explore that a little bit with you in this talk. I'm not going to read all of these questions to you because you can read and you can read the paper further. But the idea is that these are questions that we ask about organizations and institutions and people and social systems, irrespective of the technologies that we use to intermediate those communities. And so we don't necessarily have to think of them as inherently technical questions, but we can't necessarily separate the evolution in the technologies from the evolution in the social systems that are sort of, you know, their nervous system becomes these technologies. So I'm going to zoom in a bit on my personal like epistemological sort of history. Um, I'm by default already an epistemological trespasser because I sort of bounced between um, research on aerospace materials into complex social systems, into robotics, and then sort of back into more OR and large scale operational automation stuff. And then found myself in crypto being like, oh, wow, cool. I get to do all the things. And that's really exciting because, well, I like doing all the things. And so in this particular talk, I'm going to hone in on this sort of triangle here where we look at economics, complex systems, and systems engineering as sort of the points that I use to triangulate crypto economic systems. And you'll notice I've placed some edges on here because it turns out the fields I've actually worked in are closer to the edges computational social science, operations research, and much of my PhD work was in uh, what we would consider cyber physical systems, which is a bit like applied cybernetics. So there's like a hybrid where we're automating or roboticizing systems that are larger scale in nature. 